Hi everyone, now that we've created our shape that we like, I'd like to show you how to add artboards and then also how to save this for Blackboard. And this is something that you'll need to do for all of the Dropboxes in Blackboard. You'll need to create a PDF. So first of all, let's take a look at our board. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here just so we can see kind of where we're at. And let me just zoom out. Now we can see I only have one artboard. So I wanna add some artboards and my artboard panel I'm just going to close it up for a second this is my artboard panel it's in my palettes box so if I click on it I can see I only have one so I want to add some more artboards so I'm going to add plus sign and there I add another and another and another so for this assignment we need to do four different designs and we're going to have a rough draft okay so let's say I want to for example turn this into a vertical rather than a horizontal so let's zoom into my first artboard. I'm just going to double click on it, artboard one right here. And there it kind of zooms me in. Let me move some things out of the way. And I'm going to um, move my name. So I'm just going to take that and, and bring it up here for a minute. And I think I'm going to um, take this design and turn it horizontally, or vertically rather. So if I scroll to the outside, I want to make sure I don't have anything locked which it appears that I don't know. And so I'm hoping, and I'm just gonna hold my shift key and drag this so it goes per, you know, vertical. So let's zoom out just a little, and I'm gonna pull, hold my shift key again, and I'm gonna pull this out and make a vertical design. So, you know, this isn't perfect, obviously, but let's say for now, that's my vertical design. So I'm gonna change and put my name over here this time. There we go. All right, so let's say I want to do a horizontal design on my next one. So that one was horizontal, vertical. Um, now we'll create a horizontal design. So I'm going to go to my artboard too, and to make changes to the size of my artboard, I just have to click on this area right here, this little square. So let me double click it, and there you can see I have orientation. So I'm going to turn it to vertical, I mean to horizontal, and not portrait. And there you can see I could change the size if I wanted, and so on. So I'm going to say OK. But look what happens. It overlaps into my other artboards. So I want to change my um, arrangement. So if I click on this sign here, it, this right down here, this little zigzag, it basically tells me what kind of a, you know, arrangement I can have. So I can have them go all across. I can have them go you know, two. I can have multiple rows, as many as I want. Um, I think I'm going to have them go all across, which is what I think they are now. But I'm going to change the distance. So instead of 0.2, I'm going to actually put this at 2 inches apart. So let me just type that in, and I'm going to say OK. And now you can see that I'm all in a row and that I, have, I can now do a vertical design and a horizontal design. So I'm going to go to my last artboard again, and just to show you how I did that, I'm going to change that to horizontal, so into my... Um, landscape versus portrait and say okay and there's my my four artboards so now let's say I want to go back and do um, instead of like doing all the work over again I can copy this and bring it over to my other design so I'll bring it over here and I'm just gonna flip it up and like actually I should have probably made like a whole new design just to kind of show you now I can have things that are vertical or horizontal Again, I might take that name, and I'm going to zoom into it. And I am going to ungroup it for just a minute. Let me turn that up. So on this particular one, I'm going to ungroup. So I'm going to go to ungroup. So shift command G and now I should be able to take that name and move it and I'm going to put it back where I had it before. So there we are. So now I would continue to make different designs for each of my four panels and I will save, hit save. So I'm going to go to save as. In this case, what I want you to do, I'm going to change the name. This is going to be called Monogram Rough. 
and I'm going to leave it as an Adobe Illustrator file. So there you can see Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go to my desktop and on my desktop I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this graphic design and say create. And in my graphic design folder I'm going to make a monogram folder. And now I'm going to hit save. So what happens is I get this um, Illustrator options box. And what it asks me about is my version. Now I'm in 2021, so I could go back to 2020 and I could go all the way back to Illustrator 3. I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave it in the most recent version of Illustrator Creative Cloud, which would be the 2020. And I'm going to say OK. Now, if I want to save this for Dropbox for Blackboard so that I get credit for it, I have to save it a different way. So I'm going to go back to File and go to Save As one more time. And this time over here by Format, I'm going to change it to Adobe PDF, right like that. And when I hit Adobe PDF, it changes my extension from .ai to .pdf. And notice that it goes all the way back exactly where I came from. I'm using my columns as my um, how to see my, my files, which I think is really helpful for students. And now I'm going to hit save. Now, when I go to a PDF, I get a new Illustrator uh, PDF document um, dialog box. And the thing that comes up under Adobe PDF preset is the Illustrator default. I don't want to use the default. I'm going to go to the smallest file size right there. I don't care if I can edit this. This is just to show the teacher what work I've done. So I'm going to hit Save PDF, and now it's going to remind me one more time, saving this document with preserved um, editing capabilities unchecked may disable some of your editing. We know that. We already saved our master file as an AI. So we do not need to save it again with editing. We want to make it as small as possible so it's easy to open and easy to upload. So we're going to say OK. And now if we go into Blackboard and Content and we go to Illustrator, this is where the assignment drop boxes would be. And there's my monogram. And now I would go to Browse for Local Files. And I'm going to go back to my monogram folder and I'm going to pick my PDF and hit open. And now it'll be in here. Notice there it is. And then I would hit submit. And that way you can see that you've uploaded it and so can I. So that is the way to save a file. I'm not going to save that right now in here, but I just want to show you that's how you would save a file. And so very simple. Again, quick way, save both AI, your master file, and your PDF. All right, talk to you C's next time. And remember, all files should be saved at this point as small, smallest file size PDF.